What's going on YouTube? What's happening? Brother 19 here back at y'all with another cooking video. Yes, y'all. Back with another cooking video. I ain't forgot about you. Tonight we got a good one, you guys. So first, um first cooking I'm doing on this particular truck. So um here we go. Let me show you what we got for tonight. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Cooking with Beretta, here we go, you guys. Tonight, New York shrimp steak. That's what we having. We having that, and I'm gonna throw some sides with it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna throw some uh, French style greens. Still using the same season. Steak and chop. Um, I'm thinking about doing some cornbread. I might do it, might not. I don't know how I feel. And of course, the classic mac and cheese. Look y'all, got my spray oil. Okay. But we finna get to cooking, you guys. Here we go. Hold on one second. And yes, I did go shopping at Walmart. Hold on. Alright y'all. I apologize for the port lighting in advance. I hit those uh those steaks when everything once I get those New York strip steaks. I hit it with that uh steak and chop. I just showed you guys right here. I hit it with that. Let this baby cook for a while. Woo! Oh, I'm good and hungry. I'm gonna cut those steaks up too. It'll be nice and fine. Boy, it's been a day for me, y'all. It's been a day. Let me see something. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I am too damn tired. I'll probably just uh, make, like I said, make the, uh, make the, um, what is that, uh, mac and cheese and the green beans and call it a day. You're you going to see how it come out. Yeah, there's some good looking steaks right there. Don't worry, I ain't eating it all day. Please don't think I'm pigging out here. I know Ice Cube said and everything, he got his grub on, but he didn't pig out. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I ain't ate nothing all day. I'm just telling you that now. Once again, y'all, this is the, uh, kind of like uh, Pam Nile Stick cooking spray. It's just oil, that's all. Just keep that baby nice and, nice and good. Whew. Let that bad boy cook. But yeah, I know it's been a minute, y'all, since I did some cooking videos, but yeah, I figured I'd, you know, try to hit you with that and everything. But I know it's been a minute. Like I said, I just went shopping today. You know, you guys comment down below. Am I the only one? But I've been having problems finding perch fish. I know you guys remember me telling you I'm going to do a video with perch fish and uh, some tilapia, uh, not tilapia, but uh, some shrimp. Having a hard time finding some fresh perch and fresh jumbo shrimp. I'm having a hard time finding some, y'all. Been looking everywhere for it. But can't find it. So if you guys know somewhere I can find some and everything, at um, you know, somewhere I can find you know, uh, jumbo shrimp or some fresh uh, uh, perch fish, let me know. Just let me know, y'all. I appreciate it. All right, hold on one second. Now y'all, I thought about getting the uh, ribeye, but I say I'm just gonna uh, switch up and get these. Like I said, I've cooked steak before, but not, you know, there's always a little small skinny steaks. But I'll say this, you guys. I don't know, you know, comment down below your favorite steak, everything that you like. Me, I like ribeye, sirloin, T-bone, uh, New York strip steak. I never had a porterhouse though. I've never had a porterhouse, but from my understanding, that's a gigantic steak. And hell, I don't know if I can eat all that. Woo wee, woo wee. Yeah, baby, I'm letting the bad boys simmer. Let them cook good. And like I said, I am in my truck, you guys. Like that cook. Oh, look what I got for the drink. 
Surprise, surprise, lemonade. I love shopping at Walmart, y'all. Walmart is my favorite place to shop. I just can't, like I said, can't find no fresh perch or fresh jumbo shrimp nowhere. So once I find some, I promise I'll do that video, y'all, that cooking video. Woo! So we're gonna eat good tonight, baby. We're gonna eat good tonight. Also, y'all, you gotta try that uh, Cajun shrimp. Cajun shrimp. I mean Cajun. I mean Cajun turkey. Excuse me. I get that next go round. Well, next time I go shopping. But that, y'all, that Cajun turkey and that spiral ham you guys saw me cut. Lord have mercy. You talking about good eating? Woo! You talk about good eating? Lord have mercy. All right, hold on, y'all. It's coming along good here, y'all. Coming along good here. Once again, these are New York shrimp steaks. Coming along good here. Hold on one second, y'all. All right, y'all. Mistakes, bro. I say a couple minutes from being done, but look how beautiful they are. Look at that good crust I got on there. Like I said, I use my steak and chop and everything and uh for the far season but yeah these beautiful looking new york steaks here They're pretty much done i changed my mind up you guys i'm gonna do uh mash the mashed potatoes but this time i got some dark gravy let me use some dark gravy and we're gonna do uh green beans that's what we're gonna do i changed my mind i ain't gonna cook no cornbread yeah, but I don't know if them steaks look good. Ooh wee! That's how a man like to eat when he come on. Get a little bit more oil on that. Yeah, that make the crispy look good. Hell yeah! All right, y'all, let me pull them out of here. Hold on. All right, y'all, I got my French style green beans. If you didn't know, I use French style green beans. Okay. Of course, I like my greens and everything. But this one, just uh, the French style one. I put a little steak and chop seasoning in there. I'm gonna either put either that or black pepper. But yeah, you guys, my steak's over here chilling. Look how beautiful them babies came out. Woo! New York strip steak. And after I get through cooking this, I'm making my mash. Make my mash and gravy. And I'm using dark gravy this time. We gonna, that's all I'm making. Green beans, mashed potatoes with gravy eating those two steaks. Like I said, I ain't eating it all day. I don't think I'm picking out here. Besides, I've been going to the gym. I'm going to show you guys a video, actually. I'm going to do a little, a little video of me exercising in the gym. So I want you all to see that. Like I said, you know, get fit, and get in shape, and, you know, take your health seriously and everything, you know. And, uh, just, you know, do what it is you need to do. Get that cooking, get that broiling. We're gonna have us a nice little feast. I got my ball uh, brown. I had to throw it because I switched over trucks. I had to throw a lot of my old stuff away and everything. But some of it only had a little bit left and all that crap. So I said, you know what? Well, let me just start over. <laughs> so we can cook up some good and why? And while I'm gonna be eating them, if you see my TV over here, I'm gonna be watching me moving. I'm just chilling. Just chilling, y'all. Let's chill. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm cooking my greens here. After that, we make some delicious mashed potatoes and gravy. And that's gonna be dinner. Yeah, y'all, I'm back cooking. And once again, you guys, if you didn't hear me earlier, please comment down below and help me with some. I can give me some damn perch from fresh, nothing frozen, y'all. Some fresh perch fish and some fresh jumbo shrimp. Those are two I want to throw on the channel when I get a chance and everything. 
Okay. Please help me to find some. I done looked everywhere and I can't find them nowhere. All right, y'all, hold on. All right, y'all, my greens are done. green beans are done, French-style green beans. The only thing I'm going to do now is uh, cook, um, like I said, my mashed potatoes. Getting that ready right now. As I throw the mashed potatoes and everything, we're going to eat. I appreciate you guys very much. Remember, you guys, keep striving for greatness. Keep working hard and everything and you promise. Like I said, cook as much as you can. If you're going to... You need to take a break from cooking. Trust me, I just think I had to take a break from cooking myself. Because cooking is, is work itself. You're going to keep shit real. Cooking is very it's work itself. So I'm just letting you guys know and everything. Um, yeah, it's pretty much. i going to make my mashed potatoes with some dark gravy. And we'll, we'll go from there. That's going to be it. I ain't making no cornbread, nothing. I say the mash, uh, not mash, but the macaroni and the baked beans for a different dish. All right, y'all. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. Mashed potatoes is done. Nice and thick. And something else, you guys, when you're cooking your mashed potatoes, just, you know, a little quick note. Don't make the damn mashed potatoes look like they, like they're grits or something. Or cream of wheat and everything. Make sure you, you know, have some thickness to them. Okay, have some thickness to them. Well, you can tell they mashed potatoes, not no damn grits you're eating. Or cream of wheat. Let's make sure we do that and everything. Alright y'all, you know what I'm finna do. I'm gonna let this sit just for a little bit. I'm gonna cool off. Them mashed potatoes is hot as hell. But um, I'm gonna put my uh, gravy with it. And after that, I'm gonna put everything together. You guys gonna see how it turned out. Alright y'all, hold tight. We pretty much done. Just gotta put everything together. Hold on. Appreciate y'all, appreciate you. Alright y'all, that's how it turned out. Got my brown gravy. Got my steaks. Once again, those are New York strip steaks. Got my green beans. And of course, got my lemonade. All right, I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all for all the support. I appreciate you very much, y'all. But your boy got to eat. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.